Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the Techno Spark Go 2024 and this is the phone you didn't expect uh, to come out this early. So the Techno Spark Go 2024 is the same as uh, the Techno Spark 20 and the Techno Pop 8 and surprisingly I got this phone in a Techno Pop 8 box being honest. This phone is the exact copy of a Techno Pop 8 and opening this phone and setting it up, I knew it's a Techno Pop 8 but uh, after setting it up and checking, you know, the specs of this phone, so it has a 128GB, there is a, a 128GB uh, variant and a 64GB variant, so uh, the 128GB variant of a Techno Pop 8 tends to be a techno spark go 2024 and this phone has the same build same feel same camera position over the techno pop 8 and in the box you get the exact things you get a clear case a warranty card uh, you also get a USB C. you get headsets and also you get a power brick in the box so this phone has 128gb and it has a, a 4 plus 4gb ram which uh, makes it 8gb ram as it partitions some of the storage to use it as its ram and uh, the phone it has dual speakers this phone was given two speakers one at the bottom and one at the top and the UI setup is the same as that of other techno phone, which is HIOS launcher. So you get uh, the notification panel on the left and uh, the quick setup panel on the right. And as you see here, this phone shows it's a Spark Go 2024. And this phone has a big screen with a uh, a punch hole selfie camera it's a 6.6 .6 that goes up to 90 hertz but otherwise techno has been doing this packaging the same phone with different uh, names so the spark 20 the spark go 2024 and the pop 8 they are the exact copies of uh, themselves so this phone takes decent photos and it has very different uh, features that are built into the camera and it tries to take decent photos so if you're in an area with good lighting conditions you'll get the best photos out of this phone so it takes nice photos in areas which are well lit but if you're in an area with harsh lighting this phone won't be able to perform or if you're in an area with very little light also this phone won't be able to perform as it will lose out much of the details and that also applies to the selfie camera for this phone which is an uh, 8 mp camera and if you're in an area which is well lit you get perfect or nice photos uh, that this phone can take it will be able to get much of the details as you see here it's in area which has harsh lighting and when you try to zoom in in the photo you take you tend to get grains out of that photo but otherwise it takes decent photos if you you know uh, have the perfect lighting conditions and uh, that's the techno spark go 2024 and it's a nice phone if you're holding it so the fingerprint reader was put on the side which is a good touch because it doesn't give you that extra time of you know you have to reach for the power button and then also reach for the fingerprint uh, where it is placed as you know most phones are going for the under screen fingerprint this phone has the side fingerprint reader anyway with that thanks for watching guys See you on the next one.